Tim. And I'm Marcus. And, and this, this is Mood Toast TV. TV. The show where we talk about social commerce, distributed commerce, Facebook commerce, and any commerce that actually matters. You can find us on youtube.com slash TV and check out the website moontoast.com. So, we're going to uh, talk about some things that we love out there, some things that we don't love so much, and uh, give you guys a tip on uh, some, some pretty cool information out there that you can check out for yourself and our opinion on it. So the first thing I want to talk about is something that I love. Um, I think we need to say something real quick. This is about. episode one. Episode one of Moontos TV. So, uh, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> yeah, obviously, uh, it's gonna get better as we go. But we're happy that you're here. You are pioneers with us, uh, and uh, yeah, all four of you. Yes, all four of you. So thank you for joining us. All right. So, have, have we done the pleasantries? We're, we're good. All right. We need to get on with this. These people don't have time for this. Too. All right. Um, so so. Uh, Something that I, that I liked, uh, uh, Fansnap, um, which is an aggregator uh, and kind of a, you know a large ticket brokering system uh, for uh, buying tickets, uh, you know, from uh, all sports and uh, and, and entertainment uh, events. They are now integrating with Facebook, and I think you know events are one of the the areas where Facebook commerce makes a lot of sense because you know. Commerce inside of Facebook needs to be inherently social. We talk about that all the time inside the office. Um, events are obviously a very social thing. It's like gatherings, right? And you kind of want to be where other cool people are. Where people get offline and actually go out into the world. Yeah, it's and good. be real people yeah. with their mobile devices. <laughs> where they're still online. Right? Device, yep, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, so FanSnap seems to be something that actually makes sense inside of the social commerce, Facebook commerce environment, yep, absolutely. right? Absolutely, it's good. So it'll it'll be interesting to see what that what that rollout is going to be, whether or not it's uh, just a Facebook application or something more um, more official. Um, uh, you know, Facebook's been doing a lot of more official partnerships lately, uh, and you never kind of know where they're going to come from. And the one thing I'm hoping is that it actually makes the Facebook event less spammy. Um, yeah. Because uh, you know, I'm kind of getting tired of just about anybody who's actually a friend of mine creating an event and inviting me to it even though I don't live in Saskatchewan or yeah. Alaska. Yeah. You know? Are you really are only friends with them because you feel bad for them? Yes. That type of thing? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I'm, I'm or I'm trying to spam them. And that's why <laughs> <laughs> and, th and that's why I'm friends with them. Um, no, it's it's uh, it's 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 hopeful that they'll figure out a way to to use the likes and uh, you know, maybe some edge rank. Uh, uh, logic to to uh, make you know to, to to make better decisions on what events you should actually see you know and um, and then maybe fans not can be a quick way for you to buy those yeah no I, I think it's it makes all the sense in the world yep so uh, so I I get to talk about the, the love right so you you want to talk about the the thing you're not so fond of yeah we're gonna talk about the haters all right. Um, yeah, so the thing that, that's really bugging me lately is people talking about um, I put up a, a social or a, a store on my Facebook tab, uh, dropped it in the newsfeed, nothing's happening, what's going on? Well, part of the reason that nothing's happening is because all you're doing is trying to sell. So the importance of incorporating your social strategy and making, making your extended commerce, your distributed commerce, your social commerce part of your online marketing plan is critical to have any kind of success. So. If you're not having a conversation with the people just about normal everyday things, yes, you might be a brand page, but if you're not talking with, with your community, because they're there to talk with their friends, interact with their friends, and some brands are doing a great job of asking, you know, taking polls, uh, sharing jokes, showing mm -hmm. photos, behind the scenes stuff, bloopers. It's, it's a very engaging thing. It makes you want to be a part of it. But if you're not doing that and all you're doing is slapping up a store every, you know, 24 hours or if, or more, as right. we've seen some people right, do, right. Um, you're not going to get that kind of engagement and that kind of reaction. Um, but the more engaging you are, the more affinity there is with the brand, I think that the more success you're going to see as that translates into sales. So, No, I, I mean, I think that's absolutely right. Um, there are some brands that do a fantastic job of it. Quite often, the same brands that do a great job at you know Facebook commerce are the same brands that do a great job at Facebook. Period. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like absolutely. you know, they know how to build and, and treat their <clears throat> their fan base as well. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, it probably just results in a higher quality fan base. Um, you know, and 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 it's ultimately easier for them to to drive great offers to those fans and have those fans respond in a way that they would 
I yeah. hope that they would respond. Well, right? the other thing to think about too is that it's so early. You know, it's so young. Facebook hasn't been around that long. You know, YouTube hasn't really? been around that long. It feels like it, but no, man, it hasn't. Man. It's so, the problem with having kids, man. You know, I know right? <laughs> you think this stuff's been around forever. <laughs> Oh, it's but, crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's so early, and so I don't think people are used to making a purchase through a social network yet. Yeah, yeah. I, I, th I think, um, you know, what we've seen, right, is that um, they'll, they'll make purchases when they're impulse purchases, when they feel like it's a great deal. Like, you know, they'll, they'll basically purchase anywhere, right, right, um, right, on the web, as long as the offer makes sense for the environment, it ties to the brand, and, you know, this. The, the emotional state that they're yeah. in at, at that point in time. The urgency to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, definitely, we're going to see more and more uh, comfort with transactions inside of Facebook, right? I mean, you know, obviously, we don't need to go into talking about the social gaming yeah. um, side of things, but you know, people people are spending money in this environment. The question is, what's different about spending money in Facebook? Than outside of Facebook, right. you know, and I think that's the that's the thing that that retailers, generally speaking, are trying to crack the code on. That you know, we we've, we've been working on pretty aggressively with uh, with fan brands, and we've seen some good results. Yep, uh, around that stuff. Um, so so yeah, I mean, I agree. It's it's uh, it's it's frustrating to hear people lump Facebook commerce in with regular commerce, just kind of compare it, uh, you know. As apples to apples, it's not at all not the at same all. type of thing, right? I mean, this, you don't have the same type of uh, ability to be visible in Facebook that you do in in Google. It's a you know, it's all newsfeed dependent, so you've got to really know how to how to work the newsfeed, right? Um, and uh, and it's about making something that's actually newsworthy that people will want to um, to to actually pull out their their wallet and spend with you for. Absolutely. Um, so the haters are going to come around, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. It yeah. just takes time, and you got to realize it's a new metric. So. Yeah, yeah, agree. Yeah, agree. That, that's love, and that's hate, and uh, yeah, we killed it. So we got um, the the thing we want to share with everybody, right? Yeah. Um, so we're going to talk right now about the uh, webinar that just came out from Power Reviews uh, with Sucharita Mulpuru. Um, the link is powerreviews.com slash facebook dash webinar dot php. Uh, there's a little sign up thing, but we went ahead and, and took a look at that, so uh, hopefully it'll it'll be educational for you. Yeah, yeah, it's it's good. They talk about the case for and against it. You know, Forrester's had some uh, less than flattering things to say about Facebook commerce lately. Um, you know, obviously we think they're taking a very apples to apples um, position on it at the moment. <clears throat> Um, but there's all sorts of commerce opportunities that I think as, you know, more case studies come out um, that will have a more balanced perspective. Nonetheless, it is, it is uh, you know, good information from a reputable source about what's working and what's not working and um, is worth taking, taking a look at. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think that, um, that some of the information just in terms of, of the, the reactions they've seen as far as their expectation for uh, transactions on the social network uh, it's it's dated but it, again like we said earlier it's or it's early yeah um, it, it's a new frontier and it's not going to be the same volume that people necessarily do in other outlets mm -hmm. um, especially right now so I think that there's a little bit of a little bit of a, a perception shift that has to be made uh, for people to, to really get uh, how to do how to do commerce on on Facebook? Yeah, I, I mean, look. Here's the deal. Do not put your entire store in a tab on Facebook. That's not going to work. Uh, and essentially, that's what you know. A lot of people have been comparing Facebook to when they think of Facebook commerce. Right. It's not a catalog. It's not a catalog, right? Um, it's it's using sharing. It's using virality, and it's using um, something that's newsworthy to to drive an impulse purchase and get customer acquisition. So. Um, Check out the video, but also take note of some of the things that they that are said in the video. Like you know, Facebook is outranked by other um, you know marketing methods. When we already know, you know, there's no other way to get as many you know light opt-in uh, uh, you know followers or listeners than Facebook, right? I mean, it's just there's not anything better no. for that. No, right? That's it. Um, so we'll continue with this Moon Toast TV thing, uh, you know, as long as y'all will uh, 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 check in and, and subscribe. We have a lot of great things planned in the future, but you know, had to get the first one in the can. 
So it's done. Yep. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Let us know uh, what what kind of clothes we can wear to, to impress you. <laughs> that sort of thing. Yeah. Or haircuts we can do. That's right. Um, Tyson, good job. Thank you, Tyson. Thank you. And uh, I think that's it, right? I think we did a great job. All right, man. Moon toast out.